GSE 132965 is the experimental data that investigated the effect of point mutation on the NR2F1 gene. Change the name of the file to make it easier to understand whether it is WT or mutant. An amino acid substitution of R112K occurs in the mutant NR2F1. Open the Aggregate Variants tool and use the Annotate VCF tool to specify the location where the annotated VCF file is stored. Move the WT to the control group, select the Count by Variant mode or the Count by Location mode, and press the Aggregate button. At the top of the results screen is a panel where you can filter by mutation type. If you are not interested in all mutation types, select the mutation types to be analyzed. Use the keyword filter to make the selection easy. Confirm that you check only the missense and frameshift variants, and press the filter button. The bottom panel is for filtering by the frequency of occurrence in control group and case group. Let's extract mutations that are not in control group but are always in case group. There are two buttons to output the results, the export table and the export bed. First, press the export table button. There is aggregate per variant folder in the folder containing the input VCF files, and the results are stored in it. The .txt file notes the settings for the filter. On the other hand, .tsv file is the aggregate result. Chromosome name, position, a nucleotide of the reference sequence and its alteration, annotation of the mutation, gene name. Occurrence rate in control group, occurrence rate in case group. Then there is a column for the aggregate by mutation type. I'll try to find out if the gene that originally carried the mutation is listed correctly. As expected, the NR2F1 gene was found. Also, there are more than 200 unexpected genes with missense and frameshift variations. Furthermore, the info of NR2F1 gene tells that R112K mutation is correctly detected. Return to the filter screen of the aggregate results and press the export bed button. You can find the output bed files in bed files folder under aggregate variant folder. Import the resulting bed file as a region list. Please use the option to add prefix chr. Load the appropriate genome to display the genome view. Drag N drop the imported bed file into genome view to see mutations on the track. Search for the gene name in the genome tab. Check the location of the gene in the chromosome tab at the bottom of the page. You can zoom in on the surrounding area with genome view. If you select a mutation on the NR2F1 gene and look at the regions tab, you can see that this is the point mutation of R112K.
Next, let's run it in count by location mode. As before, we extract the miss sense and frame shift variants. Set the population filter to the same settings as before, and run the export table. The results are output to the same location, under the folder named Aggregate Per Location. You find there is one more frameshift variant in the result of Per Location mode. A closer look at the table shows that only the SH3D21 gene mutation was detected in the per location result. Go back to the run screen and rerun it in per variant mode. The filters of the mutation type are extracted with the same settings as before. We also extract mutations contained in either one of the two mutant samples, changing only the setting of the population filter. This result shows that mutations were detected at the same position on the SH3D21 gene, but there were two types of changes, one with one insertion of a and the other with two insertions.